Welcome. Welcome to Gallipoland. Enjoy your stay. Have a safe and trouble free trip home. Once again, welcome, 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 and a special welcome to all our brothers and sisters that are here with the Invictus Games. Enjoy your stay. And you have a safe and trouble free trip home. And all the best. Thank you. Thank you very much, Peter, and to Uncle Chico, thank you very much for your very warm welcome to country here. And can I also acknowledge uh, Gadigal land and acknowledge elders past and present? Can I particularly acknowledge their Royal Highnesses who are here with us today? Give them a round of applause. <laughs> I also officially acknowledge the Governor of New South Wales, His Excellency uh, General, the Honourable David Hurley and Linda Hurley. Um, thank you for very, very much for being here today. To all my parliamentary colleagues who are here, to Bill Short and Chloe, I understand are here today. 
A welcome to you, Bill, and to the Deputy Prime Minister, Michael McCormack, and, and Josh Frydenberg, the Deputy Leader of the Liberal Party and Treasurer, and to all of my colleagues, to Prof Professor Michelle Simmons, the 2018 Australian of the Year. You join many other, a few other Australians of the Year here today. It's wonderful to have you here. To all the Australian International Military Games representatives, the Invictus Games Sydney 2018 ambassadors, participants who are here, volunteers. Now today is all about community. These games are all about community. And it's wonderful to have so many of the community organisations that as Prime Minister in the past, I've had the great fortune to be able to work with and to bring you all here today as a representation of the tremendous community spirit that exists right across our country. And so today we have with us representatives of groups including RUAK. We all know about RUAK Day, the, the Prince and I and, and uh, the Duchess were discussing it just the other day. It was started by a good mate of mine I went to school with, Gav Larkin, who is sadly no longer with us. But our attitude to mental health in this country has been so uplifted by ensuring that we have destigmatised, demystified, and be able to just simply say to each other as mates, not just on that day, but every day, are you okay? It's great to have the Clontarf Foundation here, and Jared and all the boys from the Clontarf Foundation. This is a tremendous organisation that is changing the future of young Indigenous lives. And they are setting them on a path um, to, to great achievement. But the greatest achievement of all is for them to live in confidence, with their heads held high, and uh, what they've been able to achieve all around the country is fantastic. Kookaburra Kids is very special to me, particularly from the Shire. This was an organisation that was first established to provide respite camps, um, and so John's here, Brogdon's here, as a, a fellow patron of the organisation. This was an organisation that was established to provide respite for kids living in families where a parent or a sibling is living with mental illness. And this has been a lifesaver for those kids as they've gone off and they've had those camps and been able to share their experiences. There was a few years ago when we were having kids come along to those camps whose parents, one of their parents, were suffering uh, PTSD from their time of service uh, overseas and particularly down in the Shire where we have Holsworthy and we have one of the highest rotations with Second Commando through the Middle East. And we've ensured that these kids now uh, from military families are having their own respite camps. And that's happening all, and it's been spread all around the country. So those kids can share their experiences. And for some of those kids, while their parents have come home, they have never come home. Not to the way that they existed before they went away and served. And I want to commend Cookaburra kids for the tremendous job they're doing. To the RSL and Soldier On, you're very well known in this group. And it's been a pleasure to be involved with you over many years. But finally, to Headspace, and Dr Pat McGuire is here from Headspace. This is an organisation that we feel very proud of, Your Highnesses. We discussed it the other day. Young people getting the holistic mental health care they need across every area of need. Our government's very pleased, and it's a bipartisan issue to be supporting the work of Headspace. And so you've all come together today uh, to join together as a community to give testimony to that great Australian spirit about how we look after each other as mates. The Invictus Games is all about that as well. We spoke last night about courage, mateship, endurance and sacrifice. Those of you who've had the, the privilege and the pleasure to actually trek to Kota will know what that's like. When you stand there at Isuraba and you look at those four stones and you look at those words that are inscribed into that rock. And as I said last night, that is also chiselled into the character of every single athlete at these games. Every single family member as, who is here supporting those athletes at these games. And we thank all of them for their service and we thank all of them for their courage and their great victories. So thank you very much. It's great to have you all here today. Enjoy the community spirit and enjoy your opportunity to meet with their Royal Highness as well. And thank you to them. Thank you. So thank you and thank you for your government support to the Invictus Games. We very much appreciate it and I should also say the New South Wales government as well. It's now my pleasure to introduce Miss Nicole Bradley. Nicole is the co-captain of the Australian team for the Sydney Invictus Games 2018.
Thank you. So firstly, I'd like to make a shout out to my co-captain, Manny Brumby, who can't be here because he's on the cycling track, and I know that he would really love to have this opportunity. As competitors, we each come to Invictus along our own paths. Our stories are unique, but we share the common thread of offering our service to our countries. We come to Sydney with fierce competitiveness, but with a desire to see our fellow competitors do our best on the day here, and then as they move forward in their lives. When we get to the start line, we will represent more than ourselves. We will be representing our support network of health workers and our fellow veterans, and we will also represent our nations. But we also compete for many other people. We compete for those that tried for selection for their teams but didn't make it, for those who've not yet found the strength to apply for the team. We compete for those who have served and suffered the effects of that service, we compete for those who have lost their lives during their service or as a result of it. And we compete for those who have lost their battle with mental health and have taken their own lives. This is why Invictus is unique and we thank His Royal Highness for its existence. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes the formalities and I now invite you to continue mixing and enjoying the hospitality of the Prime Minister and Mrs Morrison.
TV camera in there? Oh, he's here, fine. Yeah, yeah, it's not, it's not going to make, is it? Thank you.
no, 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 Everyone back up. Anywhere to go on that side or? Oh, okay. That's alright. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. 